the impact of the economic crisis that this has created will last for several years. School children, I said the illiteracy rate is 60%, so only 40% of the population can read. So those 40%, let's hope that they've all stayed intact. Chances are they're an adult. So they may or may not be in a classroom to teach class when it does finally open. No one will have any money. Their economy's been shut down for four, four months now. H how will that impact your priority? Are you going to feed your family or are you going to send your child to school? So this impact will have a one, two, or three year effect on Liberia. A little bit of history on Liberia. Um, Liberia uh, went through uh, many, many years of war. And um, they're importing over 90% of their food right now. Part of the reason for that is during the, the war times, people moved from the, the countryside, from the rural areas, moved to the cities. Many of those people were killed. Generations have passed. And now the relatives of those individuals have gone back to their farmland, but they have no clue what to do with it. Mm -hmm. They have forgotten how to farm. And that's why we're there, to teach them how to feed themselves and their families. Wow, interesting. So being that you know most of their resources, including food, are imported and things have been shut down, yes. is, you know, is that why that food source is even very, very limited? Yeah. It is. And the food that is making it through the borders, like Gina said, it's you know four times the cost now. Mm -hmm. Well, when you make less than a dollar a day, you have to make some priorities in your life and figure out how you're going to feed your family.